Hello, water signs. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa and it's so great to have you guys here. And I'm here. I'm looking into March the 26th and the 27th is 2024. Now, everything you need to know about me, it is right down below in our description box. And thank you for your love and your support. Okay, so I'm going to pull a couple of cards right here from this deck. And then I will get some clarifying cards to come around it and see what we get here. Okay, so this is water, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios. Please, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, let's see what we're going to get here. That's one. Hmm, three of swords. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. We have right here nine of wands. And then the eight of swords. Okay. So eight of swords is right here. Three of swords is right here. Nine of wands right here. Okay. So let's see what we're going to get. All right. Put this down here so you can see everything. Okay. So we start right here with the three of swords. So this card represents great sadness or Heartbreak in some way, you know, to represent something like that. Let's see it here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This is water sign right here. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. I feel like it hurts you to have to wear a mask or something like that. It's okay, you have a page of source right here. She had a mask right there. So for some of you, it, hurt, it hurts you right here to have to wear this mask. Okay, page of swords in front of somebody here. Okay, the page of swords could be spying. Right, it even could be right here. Three people that's been spying, maybe you don't see their face, they could be heartbroken. Maybe you see them, could be the case. Page of Swords, okay? So that could be the case. I feel like somebody could be seeing something. The Page of Swords definitely could be spying, okay? So let me see what else here, okay? What's the Three of Swords right here in the Page of Swords? King of Cups, a water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be. Okay, somebody could be heartbroken right here. I feel like they're spying on you, okay? Maybe you don't recognize them, or maybe you don't know they're spying on you, okay? Could definitely be another water sign here. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio right here. I'm getting the Scorpio right here, the death card. Okay, I'm getting like the Scorpio's heartbroken, or somebody's heartbroken right here about the Scorpio. I'm getting right here. Okay, maybe somebody here does know about a third party right here, okay? Could be a fire sign right here. Aries or Leo, Sagittarius. Here, like, damn, you fine. I feel like you're fine on um, water signs. Okay, let's see what else here, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I was just about to say, there's nothing else here. Okay, yeah, four of wands right here is reverse. So, this could be about a breakup. So, I'm getting like somebody here is heartbroken right here about a breakup with a fire sign or another water sign. A Scorpio standing out here. Okay, but they're kind of heartbroken about that. Well, somebody's heartbroken that, you know, that you know about a third party or something like that here. Okay. I also feel like somebody's spying on you in secret. Okay. They're heartbroken about something. Okay. I feel like you don't want a relationship right here with the four wands. It reverts or something. Okay. Or a breakup. Okay. Nine of wands. Now, this card right here, it, it feels like somebody does want to hold on to you. Like you're the one that they do want to be with, I feel. Or maybe you was the one that they wanted to be with before, or something like that. Okay, with the nine of wands, two of wands. I mean, two of pentacles. Sorry. So perhaps they wanted to hold on to two people. Could be the case. Yeah, I feel like it. The two of pentacles right here. Because I'm getting like I'm in love with you, but I like you, something like that. So yeah, I feel like two people. Okay, what's the message here, please? Okay, let's see here. Yeah, four swords right here. Maybe somebody's not here. You know, the four swords usually could represent rest and um things like that. Rest, sleeping, health concern. But the four swords are very simple. Like, I mean, four swords right here in this particular card is like somebody's not here. Okay. There could be a light shed on the fact that somebody's not here in some way. Yeah, five of swords right here. So the five of swords is defeat. It's conflict or deception because somebody's not here, I feel, in some way. Okay, so I feel like somebody wanted to hold on to you, but you're not here. Okay, or they're not here or something like that here, okay? Yeah, this is the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like somebody here is very hesitant. They're very stagnant to do something here, some type of way. So I kind of feel like that's like a red flag or something like that, okay? 
because somebody's not here. Okay, or well, they have the tent or stagnating to do something right here. Yeah, page of wands. I feel like somebody here get curious because somebody's not here. Okay, I feel like something here is really good news right here. It could definitely be a third party for some people here. Yeah, I feel like a third party for some people. So I'm here with like um, Alexandria or Adrian or Adriana, something like that. Alexand Alexandria, something like that. Okay, that could be somebody here, some people here. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like somebody's married or something. This could be somebody's wife. Or somebody at work could be the case here too. So I feel like somebody's hesitant and stagnating in some way right here, right? I feel like there's definitely a third party here. Okay, there's somebody spying on one. I get the sense, okay? Okay, yeah, because I'm hearing like I want you too. Something like that's what I'm getting right here. Page of cups right here. Yeah, so I feel like somebody here is sending love messages to somebody here. Could be. Yeah, I feel like somebody's good news could be a fire sign right here. Or another water sign I'm getting right here. Yeah. Okay. What's the message right here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah, the King of Wands right here. It looks like it's a fire sign. Of Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius maybe right here. Okay. Or this could be like an entrepreneur or a business person or somebody here that is really, really um, successful with these two cards. Yeah, I feel like somebody here is very successful here in some way. Okay, definitely could be a fire sign right here or you or somebody, right? Okay, so I feel like something here is really, really good news, I feel. But somebody's hesitant. They're stagnating right here in some way. Okay. So somebody's heartbroken spine when you realize them right here. Okay. That you're stagnating, you're hesitant, or that they are. Something like that. Okay, you have six of pentacles right here and the four of cups. Yeah. So I just like somebody's stuck. Okay, maybe they got arrested. Or maybe with this card right here, somebody is powerless at whatever this is. That's why they're hesitant and stagnating in some type of way. Because I feel like there's some truth here. And the truth could be about a water sign. Okay, it could be about you, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or another water sign. Something like that, okay? There even could be some truth about love or somebody overextended themselves because they're hesitant and they're stagnating in some way, okay? And I feel like the spotlight is on that right here. It's like somebody is not here, I'm getting. So because they're not here, I feel like that's, you know, that's realized or something like that, I feel. So I just feel like somebody here is lacking the motivation to do something, to give energy or time or something's a missed opportunity or something. It's, it's like, it's just too much stagnating right here, I'm getting and the light is shed on a stagnating energy in some way. So eight of swords again, right? I feel like they feel powerless or stuck in some way right here. Okay, what's the eight of swords? Okay, tower and reverse. Oh my goodness. Okay, tower reverse is extreme tower, extreme revelation, extreme, uh, extreme. Okay. Okay, what's the message right here? Like extremely powerless right here. This even could be if somebody here was confused about something right here with the tower showing up here in reverse like this and they was confused about something, I feel like they get extreme revelation or understanding about why somebody's stagnating or why somebody's heartbroken or who is spying on them, something like that. So the emperor reverse. See, the Emperor Reverse is somebody here definitely overdoing their control in some type of way right here, okay? And I feel like with the Nine of Swords, you have them now having anxiety about something. I get the sense right here, okay? The Emperor Reverse, look at that. Mm. Could be an Aries for some people. Okay, yeah, King of Pentacles could be a husband right here, okay? Okay, so somebody here is powerless at overdoing their control to this husband or to somebody. It's pretty. Okay. The tower reverse is extreme. Extremely, they're stuck in some way. Oh, it's karma. Okay. It's karma because they're cheating and lying. They're overdoing their control or something. So the universe is intervening. Right here with the justice card right here and the seven of swords. Yeah, they're cheating and lying hard in some way right here. So the universe will intervene. Something like that. Yeah. What's the justice card? Could be a Libra for some people here. All right. What's the justice card? What's the justice card right here? 
the end of the world. Okay, so it's justifiable that whatever this is, is going to end. Somebody's going to be stuck. The universe is going to intervene. They're going to be heartbroken as I don't know what. I'm getting right here. They really are. They're heartbroken right here about something right here. Because I just feel like it's justifiable that something here will end in some way. Okay, it's going to be extreme power because they're extremely overdoing their control in some way. Somebody was extremely overdoing their control in some way. Okay, right here, yeah, the devil card. They was tempted to overdo their control and some narcissist, something like that. I'm getting right here with a devil card right here and the emperor. Okay, somebody went too dark. And when they went too dark right here, then the universe said, uh-uh, I'm intervening into that. Okay, it could be an Aries right here, a Capricorn, or whoever else it could be. Even could be black magic they was doing. <laughs> could be the case. Okay, they could be doing some black magic. This is magician right here and the devil. So they could have been doing black magic for some people here. The universe is going to intervene because I feel like they're overdoing it in some way with the emperor reverse right here. Yeah, they're overdoing it. Okay. This could be a cancer right here. They're overdoing something right here about a cancer or about traveling. And the universe will divinely intervene strong and extremely. Okay. Yeah. Or a vehicle. A chariot car could be a vehicle. Okay. This even could be something here that was going to happen in cancer season. The universe said, uh-uh, no, 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 let's stop it right now. Okay, so I feel like the universe intervenes now before we even get to cancer season. I get the sense. Okay, so anyway, that's what I have here, okay? Thank you so much for taking a look now. I send you all peace, blessings, love, and light. And don't forget, if you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs, um, thumbs up, okay? Subscribe and even share it. Namaste to you.